Well, seeing results, that's what some environmentalists say is happening now in New Orleans East. We brought you our series Toxic Risk and Waste on Environmental Racism. Now the city is acting. WDSU anchor Daryl Ford just shows us the progress. In our two part series on environmental racism, we showed you this heavily blighted property on Bundy Road in New Orleans East with a lot of tires, a lot of debris and a lot of trash that's covered this area for well over a decade. Well, fast forward now to today. Look at this property now. It is completely unrecognizable as code enforcement has worked around the clock to try to clear this area as best as they can. Now, speaking to some environmental activists, they have some mixed feelings about this cleanup. <laughs> Kind of tell me your, your overall emotions and feelings, just seeing what you're seeing right now. Progress. New Orleans East is moving forward. A difference 48 hours makes. This abandoned property could see some new life after code enforcement spent time clearing the debris and major eyesore in this community. Overall, it's a great day in the city of New Orleans. We cleared a landfill that was abandoned and neglected for 18 years, and today, we have development on the land. Activists say it's about time. The community's voice should always be at the forefront of the conversation. Now, even though progress is being made, local environmentalists say there's still work to be done to make sure the environment here is still safe by continuing testing water, air quality, and plastics on the property. All of these things are ongoing tests that we've already initiated and that we'll continue to initiate in the coming weeks and months. The beginning of something new, a rebirth, is on the horizon. And as for these stacks of tires, code enforcement are right now putting them here until they're able to find a permanent place to house them. Now, as for this entire property, Mayor Latoya Cantrell will be out here tomorrow to talk about the progress that code enforcement has made, all in hopes of beautifying New Orleans East. In New Orleans East.